I thought I'd do a video a series on dragons. Now dragons are really fascinating. Um, every everyone knows what a dragon is. Um, uh, supposed to be mythical creatures, but up until the 1920s, um, they were still considered actual um, real creatures that had just gone extinct. Um, it was mainly the evolutionist um, influence that told everyone um, they are, you know, g these giant reptiles are actually myths. But they were in the Encyclopedia Britannica right up until 1940s as being rare creatures. Um, maybe, and they were in the Britannica, they weren't even considered extinct at that point. Okay? Uh, if you go through every ancient culture, they are um, the second most um, documented uh, documented uh, thing in all of ancient cultures, which has been a, it was a worldwide phenomena, which actually was is a real big problem for evolution, because these dragons resemble dinosaurs. They are giant reptiles, and they have such striking re resemblances to actual known dinosaurs that. Um, how do you explain that if you believe in the millions of years and billions of years that evolutionists have been trying to convince the world of? So I've got a few books here. Um, this one here, put it on this side. Uh, Dragons or Dinosaurs, uh, Creation and Evolution. Uh, fascinating book. I think this, this guy does an incredible job. Um, well worth reading um, on uh, explaining about uh, the historic uh, eyewitness accounts of dragons um, and there's a video um, you can watch the video is um, nowhere near as good as the book but I've got other books I've got lots of actually get lots of books on the subject we've got the great dinosaur mystery um, we've got the uh, things like the world that perished I've got I've got a lot of books <laughs> on this topic, but this is a really nice one. This is a beautiful book, and it's got Drakeo um, Hogwartsia on the front, uh, named after the Harry Potter series, Hogwarts and stuff. This is a dinosaur that was found recently, uh, the skeleton, and yes, uh, remarkably looks um, like a dragon. Um, mythical dragon. But this book has got some beautiful illustrations from every culture um, around. Um, you've got a culture there, um, and the pictures that they've drawn of these creatures. Um, this is the Mayan culture, uh, mine, and um, yeah. So what's discovered is every ancient culture. We're talking the Greeks, the Romans, the uh, Mesopotamia, the Chinese, Japanese, uh, Colombian, pre-Columbian, uh, Venezuelan, Brazilian, you name it, Maya, Inca, uh, every ancient culture you can imagine, uh, from Europe, uh, all over the world, uh, Australia, New Zealand, everywhere actually had written accounts of these things. We have people like Marco Polo, really famous historians, um, um, throughout history, even uh, Moses wrote about them, and uh, Israel has got the um, findings from that. So yeah, they're, they're an interesting topic. So um, two things, uh, evolutionists had to try and explain why dinosaurs have seemed to have been living around and mankind's actually seen them, and actually not only have lots of eyewitness accounts of them, um, all the way up until um, the Middle Ages, They've been having accounts of them, and even earlier in China, China's had uh, many accounts of these dragon creatures. Um, but they're so uh, predominant in human history, and there is so much artifacts and um, catalogues and pictures uh, of these things that it, it does. It seems like an absolute worldwide uh, phenomena overwhelming evidence and so evolutionists have uh, basically you have to deny uh, all this cultural um, artifacts and say oh these things are myths no dinosaurs are millions of years old no one's ever seen them 
even though everything, um, <laughs> eyewitness writings, pictures, everything, pottery, everything goes against that. It was only really uh, in the uh, early 18th century where they found their first, the first apparent, found the first uh, dinosaur. And um, that that is where the big problem is. Now, dinosaur is a new invented word, but dragons have been used uh, in the Bible um, quite, a, quite a lot in the Bible, more than 20 times you can uh, find it written about. And it seems to be written about as being an actual creature. Um, it's often been interpreted uh, by the people who have uh, interpreted the Bible as being um, translated serpent. But in most cases, dra uh, dragon actually would have been a fine interpretation. Um, and we all know about the serpent. It's uh, very interesting in Revelation it talks about the devil being a, a, a dragon. Um, that's the representation that they write about him. Um, and we know that's uh, what's well, considered to be figurative. You know? But in the uh, Garden of Eden, it was a serpent, again, that might be a mistranslation, uh, was the, the most cunning of all beasts that deceived Eve. And um, you could, I guess, you could wonder. Was that really just a snake, or did this thing, was the serpent actually a dragon, and uh, like, it had legs and it could talk, okay, um, like mythical dragons could do, yeah, so that was, uh, that's an interesting thing, I'm, I'm not going to make a theology out of it, but I would be, as a Bible scholar, it would be, um, if you go through the Bible where it mentions serpent, and see if it's the same word that is used in other contexts as uh, places at, as the word dragon. And you'll probably find it, it actually can be put into these actual scenarios. Now, so anyway, there's some of the books, uh, some of the um, findings around the world, um, some of the, the different... Um, this book here is a beautiful book. It's uh, perfect for putting on your uh, coffee table. But it's got some beautiful pictures. Uh, from France and from um, you know uh, Wales and from England, uh, Peru, um, Mexico, Utah, um, pretty much every continent in the world has um, evidences um, found in history of um, dragons walking along mankind. And I, I'm going to show up. Uh, there's going to be this is a series. We're going to have. I'm going to talk about it and. Um, you can uh, watch the other videos for more information.